What's going on everyone? John Rittinger from Techno Buffalo here. By the time Android N starts arriving on new Nexus devices sometime in the next few months, it'll bring with it hundreds of improvements. Some we've already shown, the big flagship ones, things like multitasking and new notification shade, but there have been a lot of other improvements we're seeing in the first beta that Google hasn't talked about. So let me tell you what some of those surprises are. But first, the built-in file manager is a lot more powerful. You might not even know that Stock Marshmallow actually had a built-in file explorer already in it, but it got way more powerful with Android N. It's a bit hidden though. If you want to find it, go to Settings, Storage, and Explore. So the file manager now got a proper name called Explorer, perhaps a nod to everyone's favorite browser, but it allows you to move files, rename files and folders, create new folders, and kind of do everything you'd expect from a file explorer to do. You can also open multiple instances of Explorer to help you hop between separate folders. Kind of handy. If you still want more robust options, you're still better off downloading a third-party one. But if you don't like third-party apps, at least you got one here now. Next is one that's become second nature to me as I've started testing Android N. Double tapping the Recents button lets you switch between your last apps. That's it. It does. If you keep tapping, it'll take it to the previous one and previous one and previous one. It's handy and really useful. And if you just keep tapping, you can cycle through all of your apps. This next one's going to be very handy if you get a lot of spamming and you get a lot of telemarketing calls like I do. You can block phone numbers at the system level. We get calls all the time from people that want us to download more RAM on our computers or tell us our Windows computers are putting out errors, which is the article you should read, link to it down below. Android N now is a system level call blocking feature that's gonna apply across the entire phone. And best of all, the settings are gonna persist across resets. If you get a new phone or wipe your current one, you are not starting from ground zero. Hooray! Next one's pretty handy for those of you guys that use your phone as an alarm. Do not disturb can set to end automatically when the alarm goes off. Do not disturb mode allows you to set quiet hours that block most of all notifications. And Android N though, kind of gets supercharged. It can be set to override your quiet hours when your alarm first goes off in the morning. So if maybe you said do not disturb to go off at 8 a.m. every morning, you need to get up at 6 a.m. one day, you'll start getting notifications as soon as that first alarm goes off without changing your normal rules. So that's a benefit. Phones are becoming more important to us. There are credit cards, but also a way to let people know how to reach our loved ones should something bad happen to you. You can now add emergency contact medical information right to your home screen. So at Android N, you can add custom emergency information to your dialer. So anyone can pick up your phone and immediately see who they should contact should something bad happen to you. Nothing bad is going to happen to you, but should something happen, they, they can now see who to call. But don't worry, you're gonna be, you're gonna be all right. Just wear your helmet, look both ways, you'll be okay. So what do you guys think? What are you most excited about with Android N? Is it the flagship features like multitasking or the notification shade? Are you more excited about being able to block spammers at a system level, which is probably my most excited feature? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Are you so just mad you don't even have Marshmallow on your phone? Leave the comments down below and let us know. Smash that thumbs up button, we always appreciate it. Until next time, I'm John Render from Techno Buffalo. See you guys next video.